Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin if you've never been here before. This is a vlog series that I'm doing called my healthy vlog and this is my second week on a 60 day challenge. So if you want to watch kind of my journey this week, then keep on watching. Alrighty guys, I just got home. I'm gonna do this super fast because it is 40 degrees Celsius in Winnipeg today. Hottest day on record, freaking so hot. My point is I can't have my car on because it rumbles and then my video's like blah, blah, blah. Okay, but I just went to the grocery store starting out week too. I just needed to pick up a couple things. I'm um, talking so fast. So to show you what I got, I got the Lilydale turkey again. This was awesome. I got four little things of beef eye sirloin steak. They're really quick to cook. I really, really like them. I also just got my turkey pepperoni bites again. I got a lot of this last week in my video, which if you watched it, you saw it already, but I got these jalapeno ham sausages. Um, they got me with the deal of the week with the Neutrogena eye wipes because y'all know I have trouble taking my makeup off at the end of the night. Oh, I got two of these sausage things because I went through it really quickly. I'll show you a recipe that I do with them. It's super quick and easy and I'm obsessed. So I got more of that. I got a huge a bag of quinoa because I've been loving my quinoa salads. I'm a person of habit, a creature of habit. You'll see because all these groceries are what I got last week. I got, ah! Cantaloupe juice. I got cantaloupe again. That cantaloupe is so juicy. Yum. I got a thing of bananas. I wait till these are ripe and then I freeze them and I put them in a smoothie and I always make peanut butter banana smoothies during the day with vanilla protein powder. And then I got a crap ton of broccoli. So that was what I grabbed from the grocery store today. Everything else I still had at home from last week. I didn't quite go through all that yet. So that's my little haul. So pardon my messy bathroom. I just wanted to do a quick physique. This is what I look like when I'm not sucking in. This is what I look like if I'm like trying to keep it tight. But like this would be me just like in a regular moment. Lots of back that situation happening which is fine this is yeah this is where i'm at physique wise and i just wanted to show you a little update <laughs> i'm wearing a lot of makeup right now i don't know how to let it but look at the highlight oh uh it is monday august 13th i definitely thought it was the 8th today or 9th honestly i don't even know what day i thought it was but i did not think it was the 13th like wow who just doesn't check the date for freaking four days of their life i don't know me i'm gonna be totally honest with you because that's what i always promise for y'all here on my channel i'm struggling a little bit i'm really really lethargic and tired today i've been having shooting pain in my arm i've been having some back pain i think it's mostly cramps honestly um i don't know what the deal is with my arm it's like it's not a heart attack so that's good but yeah I definitely go through this every time if you guys go back to my channel in February when I was doing a cleanse I got so lethargic I actually didn't film for like two weeks because I just could not even fake it I like had zero energy but then something flipped a switch my body just does that when I start eating really clean it's not that I'm restricting things like I'm having tons of natural sugar from fruit I'm having lots of fats I'm having lots of carbs I'm having lots of vegetables I'm eating a lot of great food I don't really know what the deal is but um, I always go through this kind of transition period where my body's like, yo, where's all this empty crap at? I need it. And then during those times, I feel very, very tired and crappy. So I'm having that kind of a day today. I literally just feel like I'm getting sick. Um, I don't think I actually am, but I'm going to go to the gym. I have more energy now than I did earlier. Earlier today, I was like, I'm only going to go to the gym and go in the sauna. Like, that's all I can do. But I'm going to go to the gym and do my best. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted. Oh, guys, I'm back. Okay, so I just got to the gym. And, like, seriously, I'm so lethargic. I just feel like I need to rest. Oh, my makeup looks really bad. I'm trying a new foundation today. This is not holding up. Anyways, so I think I'm just going to go inside and take off my makeup and lay in the sauna for a while and just at least sweat it out a little bit do something healthy today something for myself my skin whatever then i'm gonna go to the grocery store pick up some brown rice tortillas go home and eat and then get into bed and be in bed by like 9 30 which is in an hour and a half i just think i need to rest i'm like not feeling good so uh yeah that's what i'm gonna do Hi guys, it's day two of week two, which is day nine. <laughs> that was very confusing. Um, this week so far, which started on Sunday, not going the best, if I'm being totally honest. As you saw yesterday, I was not feeling great. I ended up going to the gym and just going in the sauna for an hour and I went home to rest. I didn't really sleep. My body is agitated. I'm having a lot of nerve pain 
pain in my arms, pain in my legs, pain in my chest, pain in my shoulders. Um, so I'm going home to rest. I actually left work. I'm just like really not feeling good, which is very unfortunate timing. So just wanted to update you on what's going on. I will not be working out today, I don't think. Update, I slept for most of the day today and I don't think I should go to the gym today. I honestly don't. I really wanna go tomorrow. I'm just trying to rest because I don't think that these things are associated with each other like the way I've been eating. I talked to my naturopath and she thinks it's some type of virus. So it's just so annoying that it's happening at the beginning of my challenge. But I'm going to take care of my body, listen to my body, rest, keep eating good, um, and hopefully be back at the gym tomorrow. So day nine was a bit of a bust. <laughs> but I got to sleep. So hashtag self-care. <laughs> good morning. It's day 10. I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday. Thank God. Look at my highlight. Wow. I'm just making myself an iced coffee. So I have my shots. I spent most of the day in bed yesterday. I'm feeling a lot better today. Um, this is amazing. It's almond milk creamer and it's just changed my life. So just thought I'd update you guys, tell you I'm feeling better and I'm excited to go to the gym tonight. Yay. Every day. I chop up the Jillian vegetables. This tub is huge, like this is my hand. And uh, I go ham. I try to eat as many as I can. When I'm hungry, and I want to snack on bad stuff. I'm like, yo, you got a tub of veggies to get out, you know what I'm saying? I had a complaint from a friend today being like, all your vlogs are in your car. Get out of your car. Well, I'm stuck in a train, so you're stuck with me. <laughs> uh, that was really dramatic. Um, You know, it's day 10, right? Ugh, I don't know. Let me count. Yeah, it's day 10 and uh, I'm feeling good. I was super sick. It started on Sunday, my lethargic, just non-existence in this world. Started Sunday, so I didn't work out Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. Yesterday it was at its worst. Today I'm feeling good, I'm going to the gym. I'm currently drinking my pre-workout, same as last week, PVL Essentials. I'm pretty pumped because usually at two to three weeks on an eating plan and exercising is when I actually start to physically feel better and some of the bloating starts to go down and I see just at least like a little bit of results and it's not that I'm trying to like lose a bunch of weight in 60 days I'm just trying to create healthy habits but I'm excited because you know I know in a week or two I'll be able to say these are more so habits now it's not as hard because I've been doing it for a couple weeks so I'm feeling really motivated I'm feeling really excited I'll try to do more b-roll in this video so it's not just me sitting in my car talking but this is a real true healthy vlog a video log I'm assuming that's what vlog stands for that's what you're getting you're getting a video log every day for 60 days what a treat for you i think my pre-workout's kicking in <laughs> a little bit i hit the same gosh darn train on this same gosh darn street every freaking day i'm so over it All right, so I'm outside of my car. Okay, it's actually hard to vlog outside of your car because then you have to pull your camera out in front of everybody. I got the Revive Juice from Freshy and the Energy Bites. So the Revive Juice is like this one here. It's carrot, ginger, lemon, carrot, ginger, lemon, turmeric, and apple. And I got it because I haven't been feeling good and I need to be revived. And I am heading to the gym now. I'm really hungry. I didn't want to eat a full meal before I went to the gym, so I'm gonna drink my orange, my orange juice. It's not orange juice, but it is orange juice. And I also got the, ugh, this is so hard. It's hard to be a vlogger. You can unfriend me, it's fine. I'm stretching so I don't absolutely demolish my back or my legs, you know, but I'm trying to be cool about it. I'm so bloated. So bloated. All right, yo. Someone saw me. That was so embarrassing. Wow. Just kidding. I don't embarrass very easily. Okay, I've tested it, and you can hear better if I talk into this. Like I'm, I don't know, Inspector Gadget. I don't know. So my body does this thing where when I first start eating healthy and exercising, for the first little bit, it like gets bigger and bigger. It like retains a bunch of water, and then all of a sudden, one day, you guys are gonna see. I'm gonna wake up, and it's gonna be like. Where did that waste come from? 
just walking into work backwards because the lighting is better this way. <laughs> do it for the gram. Um, I can't do this. This is stupid. Um, my best friend had a baby this morning. I'm so excited. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl and I can't know until I go visit at seven o'clock and it's only 10 a.m. So I'm going to go crazy all day, but I've got my iced latte here and then I'll drink my tiny tea. Got my lunch, same old lunch pack as every other day. And I'll hit the gym at like probably nine tonight. Challenge going great. It's day 11. On the menu today is quinoa with cherry tomatoes, lily dill turkey, orange peppers, yellow peppers, and red peppers. Good morning. All right, so I'm cutting up some of this um, jalapeno sausage. That is what I do with the sausage. And then I'm just gonna scramble an egg in the bowl, like so. And I'm just going to dump the sausage into the pan. All right, once it starts getting a little bit brown, I just pour the egg on top. And at this point, you just, it's on high kind of setting, so you just keep stirring it. And then I add this simply natural organic red hot sauce. While that's cooking, I take one of these brown rice tortillas. They are gluten free. And I heat it up in the microwave to thaw it because I keep them in the freezer. All right, and then I just take the insides of the wrap, put them in there. Then I toss on some salsa, regular old salsa. And then I just wrap it up and eat it like a burrito. It's a very high carb meal, um, but my next meal will be no carbs and all just protein and vegetables, so I'm not too worried about it. Look at this, look how good this looks. This is my little editing setup this morning. I got my food, my blankies. I love my room so much. I love it. I will be here for a while. Hi, it is day 13. I'm just about to go to bed and I just wanted to wrap up week two of my healthy vlog. And I'm gonna be totally real with you guys cause you know, I always promise I will be. And I will say that this week there was lots of wins, but took a few L's, you know what I'm saying? One being my hair, just kidding. Yeah, I just got home from a nine hour shift and like today was just ridiculous. So let's just talk for a sec, real chats. I'm sitting in bed. I'm I wasn't editing, that's actually there from earlier today, but anyways, real chats here, cause we're just, we're just chilling. This week was really hard for me because I was so motivated, but I was feeling like so much was coming against me. Like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I had some type of really weird like virus. And I think that's what it was. I consulted a few people about it and got checked and stuff. And it was some type of weird virus, but basically, like I said earlier in the video, I was having shooting pain up and down my left arm, my right leg. Um, I get gallbladder attacks sometimes, and I was having, I uh, had a gallbladder attack, just general side effects from gallbladder pain. So shooting pain in my shoulder blades, shooting pain in my lower back. And then it also caused like a lot of lethargicness, lethargia, I don't know how to say it, but I was very lethargic this week and just my body just needed rest so bad. And so I was very frustrated because I've been so getting back into the rhythm of things with the gym and really, really truly enjoying it. And I ate really good this week, so that wasn't a problem at all. I was really happy with that. But workout-wise, I actually worked out that one day, which was so disappointing. So that was the first half of my week. And then my best friend had a baby on Thursday the 16th. And so I worked all day, and then in the evening I was going to go to the gym. But I obviously went and saw her and her baby. And oh my gosh, she's so cute. I can't even handle her. I had a niece almost eight years ago. I've had six nephews since then, and this is my first niece in a very long time and she is just so precious my heart just can't even handle her anyways um but i went and saw her thursday night after work and then friday i took care of a bunch of stuff i ran a bunch of errands i paid a bunch of bills i just like i took care of a bunch of things and then i was planning on going to the gym in the evening but i ended up going to see my friend and her baby again so i you know what and honestly like i could have gone to the gym oh oh and then mother nature was upon me so that happened at the end of the week and that is very difficult for me i get extremely bad cramps the first two days like to the point of like almost throwing up um I really just like can't function. I don't really love to take Advil or ibuprofen or anything. And I just like, I have to take it like pretty much as much as I 
am allowed within the dosages just to survive the first and second day and um that happened friday saturday so yesterday and today have been just excruciatingly painful for me and so i know normally i do work out when i feel that way but instead i went and saw heidi and her babe and um that was friday night and then tonight i worked and this morning i was in bed dying and editing so um yeah workout wise definitely disappointed but you know what i truly feel like my heart was in the right place i needed to rest um it would have been really stupid of me to just really push that hard especially just two weeks in so this is a really long wrap up but i felt like i wanted to explain it and i wanted to be able to log this for myself for the future and um to understand where i'm coming from and i had my cheat meal today and i had my cuckoo foam this week so i'm allowed one of each of those and so that was awesome. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all. Really excited for next week. I'm wrapping up this video. I will be doing a vlog for every week of this challenge. It is going to be eight weeks. So I'll have eight weeks of healthy vlogs. I will post them every week, hopefully on Monday or Sunday every week um, from the week prior. So I'm really excited about that. I really hope you guys like these. If there's anything specific you want to see, let me know. The more I always promise to be honest and truthful on my channel, as you know. So the more that I kind of figure out vlogging i'm not good at vlogging and the more that i figure it out the better these vlogs will be but i'm not gonna like put in b-roll footage of me making my bed when i don't make my bed really ever unless i'm i'm not working that day or something so like i'm not gonna put in fake stuff just to like make it look like a cute vlog because that's like not me that's not true so um anyways that's a side note but yeah, I'm having fun vlogging and I don't normally do vlogs, so hopefully you like them and if they're not your thing, that's totally fine. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like the video and make sure to let me know in the comment section below anything that you want to see on these vlogs. Thanks for watching. Bye!